After that, guys, we're going to be checking out Floppy Nights. If you think that art style looks a little bit familiar, well, you'd be right, because the same artist who worked on Dicey Dungeons contributed their skills to Floppy Nights. This game is a turn-based tactic meshed up with a card game uh, deck builder strategy. So it's definitely something that I'm going to like. We'll see if you guys feel the same way that I do. I'm excited about this one. Perfect. All right. And you guys are going to recognize this art style if you've played Dicey Dungeon. It is uh, the the main artist behind Dicey Dungeon also doing the, the art for this game. So if that's not a indication that this is something to look forward to, I don't know what is. All right. We're going to go ahead and get started, guys. Again, I'm taking 10 off the clock for this game as well. I got to be kind of quick today with Game Wave, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and jump in. Phoebe, is it complete yet? Just a sec, Carlton. Advanced robotics are not that simple. I have waited an entire week. It only took you a month to make me. Implementing an upgrade for me should only take 30 minutes maximum. 30 minutes? Are your math processors broken? Relax, it's almost there. Just a few more screws and you're ready. Ready for what? This! I just finished installing a floppy disk drive on you. What does this disk do? You're about to find out. I put a very special program on this one. Can we test it out? We sure can! Fascinating! Look at this little guy! I call them floppy knights. There you go. Now it all, right? They're tangible projections I made by sequencing elemental magic into code. They can touch things, grab stuff, and in this one's case, kick my tools. Mom and dad are always on me to make, uh, to take on a magic profession, but I keep telling them magic is overrated. Science is the real magic. I was thinking these floppy knights could help us take on odd jobs around town. Let me show you how to use them, Carlton. I am ready whenever you are. Bada doo doo, deep doo, da da doo doo. This floppy knight is called Succulent Kicker. We'll practice by fighting him with another floppy knight I've made. Meet Captain Thistle. They're a commander unit, sort of like our team leader. Oh, I can see their stats right here. HP is the health. If it reaches zero, they'll be removed from the field. Attack is how much damage they deal. Speed is how many tiles they can move. And RNG is the distance they can attack. Range. To place a unit, drag it into the blue deployment zone. All right, Captain Thistle is on the map. You can see the HP number in the bottom right corner. Now that they're here, let's use them. Uh, each turn, our commander generates a special card for us to use, and we draw five cards from our own deck. I get it now. This is. Now that a unit is on the field, we can play other cards on them. But we have limited energy, right? That is correct. We can see how much energy a card costs. Anything we don't play gets discarded at the end of our turn and will be reshuffled into our deck of cards. Let's use the Captain Thistle special move card. All right, Captain Thistle's ready to move. Let's do it. Couple of ways a unit can attack. See the little sword icon? Each unit gets one free attack each turn that costs no energy to use. If you see this sword icon on a unit, that means they haven't used their free attack yet. Ben! Thank you for the 16 months, dude. Huge appreciated. The big primer right there. 16. Almost a year, indeed. Uh, if you see that, yeah. We should left click on the captain to activate his free attack and use it. Shaboing. Victory. Notice the sword icon is gone, which means that we use this free attack. The sword will come back every turn, so remember to use it. Simple. Easy tutorial. That was my first egg since the incident. I'm glad you're gaining the bravery to get back put yourself back out there, Brady. Phoebe, that was incredible. We are so powerful. Everything worked perfectly. We should try this out on a real gig. I estimate we're ready to take on a job and make some sick cash. I love when you use human phrases, Carlton. Let's go. All right. This game's really cute so far. I like this. 
How about I need to go, I need to get a job, I know. You told me like a million times. Phoebe, you're 16 years old. You've been shut up here tinkering away out this stuff for so long. We're worried about you, honey. I demand you get out there and enjoy life. Take on some responsibility, get a job, it'll be great for you. You might even make a few friends. I have friends, mom, I have Carlton. Yes, but you built Carlton. No offense, dear. None taken. Listen, I have a plan so I won't have to get some boring job. I'll even make enough money to buy my own place. Wow, your own house, huh? You really do have lofty goals. Everyone my age is doing it. I can't fall behind. I've made an invention that'll help us take on work, and I've completed it just in time for the Gadget Cup competition, too. If I win that first place cash prize, I'll have all the cash I need. The Gadget Cup. That's, the, that's that science tournament they hold in town every year, right? Right! And this year, I'm finally old enough to compete. We'll make some quick cash if we win. You know, having a regular responsibilities and people that depend on you isn't such a bad thing. I've been able to use my fire magic to do all the smithing for the all of Toggle Town. And everyone loves her for it. We're always inundated with thank you cakes. We had to get a second fridge. Phoebe, we're really proud of how talented you are with all this technology stuff. But if this plan of yours doesn't work, you'll have to go work as a blacksmith with your mother. At least until you find something more stable. Ah, oh, fine. This will work, though. I've already got our first job lined up for us. Just give me a couple days. <laughs> Defeat all enemies. Don't lose any units. Let's do it. All right, let's check it out. First real level. Non-tutorial. We're here. The job board said to meet at this farm on the outskirts of town. I wonder who our client is. Oh, it all sounds so official. Client, job, look at us, Phoebe. Soon we will no longer be an unnecessary burden on your parents. We really need to work on your bedside manner. Can I help you? Oh, are you the one who posted the job? I thought you said there'd be two of you. There are two of us. I'm Carlton, an artificially intelligent arm created by Phoebe. Yeah, that's great. Uh, right. What seems to be the problem? It says here on the job posting that you are, uh, terrorized by vegetarian goblins? Listen, kid, I try to keep a tight farm, but every day those forest goblins are snatching up all my crops. Perhaps we could grow you some more carrots. How hard could it be? That sounds like a lot of work, Carlton. I just need you to keep watching, keep them away from my crops. Uh, I love keeping watch. I do not need to blink, so I am very proficient at it. All right, but I'm going to need some kind of down payment here. Seeds? I meant cash. What am I supposed to do with these? You can make a lot of money planting those. Now go take care of my goblin problem. All right. Hyper Sniper. I don't know what kind of magic this lady is using to make food come out of the ground. <laughs> oh my god, the goblins are funny. To win this battle, defeat all the enemies. Check it out. We'll always draw the commander first at the start of every battle. Remember when I said the commander was sort of like our leader? We can let other units take as many hits as we want, but our commander is the leader, and if their HP reaches zero, we lose. We can right-click on an enemy and see their movement and attack ranges. Let's keep an eye on them to keep our commander safe. Okay. How do you flip this? It says flip. This card will be transformed into a new card. Okay. It's a free attack, I see. And I can attack again. So you can't reach me, you can't reach me, and you can't reach me. Oh, I can do this again, though? I still have two... 
I didn't realize I could use it again. I have observed some terrain that will give our units a bonus. The forest will give us uh, a unit armor, which acts like extra HP. Just like Fire Emblem, kind of. Sweet. I don't have any more energy. End turn. Is this the deck builder? I'm already sold. Yes, it is. It's a tactics. It's a tactics game deck builder. Oh, the succulent kicker. I can summon the succulent kicker. Whoa, I summoned another one. Oh, it's his, his ability. Move unit, destroy. Oh, destroy the card. Kick. Kick. <laughs> Uh, that's funny. Unit gains one attack with thorns. It costs two to use, though. Shit. Run away! I didn't plan that out well enough. Man, it. There we go. Easy fight. And those are my rewards. Poison attacks, adds poison shot, upgrade a plants card in your hand, destroy. And 30 money. Leave us alone, you stinky losers. Who are you calling a loser? Hey, you little torps, cut it out. Those are mine. Uh-oh, the angry lady's here. Hurry up, grab as much as you can and scram. Don't just stand there, chase after them. Hey, pretty sure that's our out of our scope of work. As if, you didn't scare them at all. They're gonna be back as soon as you leave. Man, I thought this was gonna be easy. I'm paying you to get to the root of this problem. Is that some vegetable humor? <laughs> Bonus objectives. We acquired a card from the last battle. Let's add it to our deck. Yeah, now we're getting to the deck building element, baby. All right, this is the deck builder. We can add cards to our deck through here. On this side are all the cards currently in our deck, and on this side is our backpack, all the cards we've collected so far. Cards with these little lock icons on them are base cards. They cannot be removed from our deck. And this is our commander. We can switch them out, but only with other plants commanders. We can remove any cards from the deck that don't have a lock icon and store them in the backpack. We must have a minimum of 12 cards. Let's add... Spitunia right now. Creating a strong deck will be critical to our success, so let's keep an eye on new cards as we get them. I'm gonna add Grow to the deck as well. I like Grow. Do 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 do. But can we get killed by a 1% crit off a 5% hit? That's the real Fire Emblem experience for sure. They got literal legs, but they can run fast. It's really too bad you don't have super strong robotic legs. Carlton, we've been over this. I'm not going over, I'm not going full bionic woman, but I am so strong. Being a robot is so cool. You should really try it. There are more of them somewhere. Let's deal with these twerps. I want to get paid as quickly as possible. To win this battle, destroy the goblin satellite. Five turns or less. How do I cross the water? Oh, the water just takes an extra unit of move to cross, I see. Unit gains one attack this turn, move one extra tile. That's way cooler.
I'm gonna put you right there for now, and with my remaining energy, I'll summon Spitunia. Poison shot. I don't like Spitunia. Spitunia scares me a little bit. I just had this intrusive thought because we played 30XX before this, but do Mega Man Battle Network and Star Force count as deck builders? I count Mega Man Battle Network as a deck builder, yeah. I absolutely count Mega Man Battle Network as a deck builder. Force as well, yeah. I guess Star Force as well. I want to stay out of range of the Hammer Gabo. I have played One Step from Eden. I love that game. I think it's so good. I'm a huge fan. All right. Free attack. The reap attack. And this attack. Destroy the satellites! Great game for fans of Mega Man Battle Network. Perfect on Steam Deck 2. I've not played Aces in Adventure yet for Oreo. I downloaded it and I tried it for a little bit one night, but I like, when I booted it up, I was like so tired that day. I booted it, I played for like five minutes, and I'm like, I literally just don't want to read right now. And I haven't tried it again yet. But I do, I, I do think it looks cool. I do want to play it. The Barrel Cactus has a lot of health. I repeat, the losers are here. We are retreating to the river. Where do you think you're going? I'm looking at them right now. They're stinky and mean. Be advised to take caution should you see them. Goblins, fall back. How dare they? We are not stinky or mean. We are nice and cute. Follow those goblins. Oh, we can craft stuff. Oh. Well, this is free. Unit gains plus two max HP. Attack an enemy boost. Each time this card is played, it turns into a stronger version of itself. That's like a better version of regular. I got... Hmm... It's, it cost all my money, but it's card advantage. Anybody who plays card games knows that card advantage is like the strongest thing you can get. And it it, it's ba it gives you one energy next turn and it re-replaces itself. So it's literally, it's literally a free energy anytime you draw it on your next turn. That's huge. Attack an enemy if the unit is currently on a forest tile plus one damage. I'm just gonna add everything for now, except for this second succulent kicker. I don't think I need this second succulent kicker. Oh, what does Pot of Greed do again? <laughs> There's slimes. What? Did they head this way? I believe so. Well, well, looky here. Fancy seeing you here, Phoebes. Ah, getting in the Thanksgiving spirit, I see, Pi. Thanks for the gifter to stuff me like a turkey. Appreciate it, dude. Snarlton, what are you two doing here? Can't you see we're in the middle of something? Exactly. Word around town is you're testing out your new invention for the Gadget Cup. Now that we're both old enough to enter. Alex, I wanted to size up the competition. We will be beating tomorrow. 
Unlikely, you two are nothing but a couple of copycats. It'll be us who's winning the gadget cup. Alex, you rip off my inventions all the time. Snarlton over there is proof. Just observing his inferior monitor display really gets me going. I will have you know, Alex programmed me to be far superior to your obsolete specs. Oh yeah, prove it. Do long division right now. Alex, will you just get out of here? We're trying to do a job. Finally joining civilized society and getting a job, eh? Took you long enough. You know, you never accepted the invite to my housewarming party at my new centrally located bungalow. It has crown molding. Uh, buzz off. No way. We'll settle this right now. Your crummy little science fair project versus my weaponized slimes. Finally, I'll prove who the best inventor in town really is. No more Phoebe so smart. Phoebe's such a talented engineer. Phoebe has the cutest eyebrows. Get ready to see what it feels like to be second place, Phoebes. How do you suppose we should proceed, Phoebe? I don't think there's any way around it, Carlton. We gotta kick her butt so we can finish this goblin job. There's no convincing her when she gets like this. Oh, it's Truki. Yeah. All right, to win the battle, defeat all enemies. Get to the veggies before the slimes is the bonus objective here. Restore three HP, that's sick. All right, let's use this to gain more speed. That's the best I can do. I really wanted to be next to this thing. Ah! Wow. That slime, I should have looked at how much damage it did because that really hurt. Three attack. It only got two speed. So I can kill you. I can make it to the veggies. They also healed me. This guy can't reach me now, so I'm safe. All I have to do now is defeat all the enemies, and I can take as many turns as I want. Uh, I'm gonna summon Spitunia. I didn't want to do his AoE attack and accidentally hit my own uh, ally there. I don't know if that works like that, but I was just worried about it. All right, we got the upgrade a plants card in your hand. Destroy. Upgrading the succulent kicker feels pretty nice because I get an upgraded full-ass unit. I like that. And it can move for free. I have a free attack right here, too.
So these ones have two range, but they do less damage. The blue slime. Good enough for me. The cactus juice. Oh, sunshine. That's what I'm talking about. Nice, that kick. Really good. All right, how far can I move right now? Uh, if I go into here, into range of both these artillery slimes, I'm in trouble. I can safely move right here for now. And I can safely move you right here. I'll heal you. I'll move Spatunia closer. And that's it. All right, I get plus one energy this turn. Two attacks, three attacks with branch out actually is nice. So I have four attack, so I can plow ahead. Damn, I wish I could move one more. here. I'm attacking. I'm going to move you here and then here. You're going to attack him. This makes sense. And then I can get the other one down at the same time. Oh, that was the knockback attack. Shit, I didn't want to do that. Ah, it should be fine. Succulent is gone. Ah, I'm actually super scared now. like my only option here. Neither of these guys can reach me right now, which is good. I might as well bring Cac Cacto Man as far out as I can. Oh, I'm out of energy. Alright, cool. This one, if I play this, I get a free kick and a free hop. Okay, so I can move. I gotta think this through. So if I move you here, 
if I move you here and kick that guy, he's he, he's dead. I do four. Then I gotta move again, and I can attack. And I can move you and attack this one. Okay, I should be good. I think I, I think I mapped this right. So I can move you here, attack this guy for freezies, move you here, attack this guy for not freezies. Then I can move you right here and attack this guy for freezies. And zoomy doomy, I win. Bam Boomer adds roots. Feed all enemies and get to the veggies before the slime. I did it. How is this possible? You dumb little freaks destroyed all of our weaponized slimes. Alex, just give it up already. You always, you'll always be two steps behind me. Mark my word, Phoebes. You may have won this time, but the gadget cup will be a whole different story. Snarlton, let's get out of here. All right, we're on to the final part of this uh, this goblin mission. Nothing else I want here. This guy has three range, four attack, but only two speed roots. Move a unit extra tiles if they are currently on a forest tile. Might as, yeah, why not? Why not? You know, why not? Let's take them. Hey, losers. I'm impressed you made it this far, but this is our turf. What is this place? This here is the fun zone, and losers like you will just stink it up. I suggest moving along before we have to get tough with you. You're not going to stop us from taking that magical ground food. We were sent here to stop you, even if it means we have to conquer your fun zone. Yeah, we're going to stink it up. To win this battle, reach the target goal and hold it for two turns or defeat all the enemies. Don't lose any units for the bonus. All right. is four attack. Yeah. This guy only does one and I'm in the forest. Same with this guy. But I'm within range of both of them. So I'm going to want to move at least here so that this guy can't hit me. Getting hit by one of them is fine. And I'm out of energy, so. Carlton, look, a deactivated deployment zone. If we put a unit there, we can get it online and deploy there. Oh, that's really cool. I like that a lot. check what my brother was saying gotta go do some prep for dinner cx water and happy turkey day chat room see you later maz enjoy your thanksgiving dude enjoy uh i definitely don't want to summon the bamboomer down here so that's pretty far what's this guy's name slaw i thought it said sussy i thought it said sussy gobby not slobby gobby slobby globby is a gross name <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put my thorns down so that I can one-shot this thing. Slob on my gob.
I am gonna summon the Bamboomer. Move unit, if the unit is currently on a forest tile, move it further. How much do you do again, four? Yeah, not enough. But I can get you into the forest, and now I have the roots. Well, I have to discard them now, which kind of sucks. All right, I definitely want to take care of the slobby globby. Floppy night sounds like my honeymoon. Oh, Manic T. How's it going, man? All right, I took care of that idiot. Took care of that idiot. And oh, you have to shoot exactly that range. Oh, that's a little inconvenient right now. Pure. Good job. Good job, little planter. Young Jay, thank you for 33 months. And Whip, thank you for another gifter. Getting it right up to 45. I appreciate it big time, man. Thank you. Thank you massively. Uh, this turn is done. I'm good. All right, we've taken care of the first, like, area of enemies. Next up, I need to hijack this little computer zone so that I can... So that I can start spawning my guys up here. That'll be a lot better for me. I got two. Ooh, a grow card. Plus one attack this turn. Move one extra tile. Mm. I wish I I wish I could use the grow card on something else, but one extra attack's not a bad not a bad deal. How much attack do you do? Three, you got knockback, four, and three, and one. All right, let's get in position. Checkpoint, return a unit to your hand, delete. Oh, that's sick. And I can re-summon him over here now. Okay, hold on the first. Safe. Safe. Let's put you right there. And now I can bring you closer with that hop. Dude, that was so dope. That deploy was awesome. That redeploy is super useful. My positioning with my units right now is really nice. All right, we got the big mama who came out. Gonna need to try and deal as much damage as we can to her. We got the range damage that's coming right up. And I'm gonna bring in the spitula. I don't want either of you taking out either of my units, though. We're going to focus you first. I did not draw a lot of attack abilities, though. But, let's see. Five attack. When does poison deal its damage is it at the beginning of the turn because if so i'm safe to just attack the hob bopper target is poisoned and loses one hp for three turns damn that would be really useful information to have if it's at the beginning or the end of the turn I'm gonna not take chances on it. Only one of you can get to my succulent. Oh, 
I still don't like it. I'm moving the succulent back because my bonus is to is to not lose any units. So I really want to try and achieve that. Oh, voting is open, guys. Moist Squirts in the chat if you uh, like the game. If you think it's good, Moist Gasm in the chat if you, uh, if you don't. Dude, I really like this bazooka, dude. Can you reach there? Can you reach there? No. Okay, so if I put you right here, I can likely stop enemies from spawning if I occupy that, that space, I think. Alright, this thing does three attack. I'm gonna summon the cactus, and I'm gonna let the cactus be bait for the hyper sniper. I'm gonna put you right here so you can attack. And I don't have any more moves, so that's it. All right, 100% approval rating right there. Yeah, floppy. Oh, you're a ranged attacker. I did not read that. I should have read that. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna be, we're gonna be fine. Oh, reap and sow is actually gonna be huge here. Gaiman. He, oh, Vera, restore one HP to other units each turn. Cycle Sunbathe. Yeah, this game is 60% off during the autumn sales right now. No, the fun zone, it's ruined. Listen to me, you've got to stop taking that poor farmer's food. But how else are we supposed to get magic ground food? Here, what's this, bunch of little boogers? They're seeds, vegetables aren't magic ground food. They're like, they're just plants. Put some here and you can grow your own food. Really, that's it? Tell you what, I'm gonna take half this huge stash of veggies you stole, you keep the other half. Should tide you over till you grow your own, but in return, you have to leave that farmer alone, okay? That is a good deal, too. If I had my way, I would have incinerated you with my laser eyes. Maybe you're not such losers after all. All right, it's a deal. Come on, Carlton, let's go receive our cash money. Well, I have to admit it, I didn't think you'd pull it off, but don't sneak up on me like that. Uh, were you following us? I just wanted to make sure the job got done properly is all. And it did. Here's your payment. Yeah! Money! Those floppy knights of yours are pretty handy. You're that kid from town who's always making those inventions, aren't you? That's me! We're gonna enter the Gadget Cup and emerge victorious. Ah, uh, didn't you hear? The Gadget Cup's been cancelled. <gasps> Nani? Did my audio input capture just fail? Did you say that the competition has been cancelled? How? Why? Uh, Cindercliff's volcanoes have been acting up lately. Falling rocks and all that. The fairgrounds are in the blast zone, so they had to cancel. Phoebe, my database indicates that Cindercliff volcano is from the next town over. It is. Come on. We have to go check this out. Thanks for the money, ma'am. Sure. Good luck. <clears throat> there it is. It canceled. I want to see what the other, uh, like, decks look like. Because I know that this game features three different archetypes. The plant deck, and then two other kinds of decks. Oh, challenge levels. Oh, cool. Did you know that we're fr they think we're friends? Isn't that hilarious? Anyway, I finally come up with a plan to prove my superior intellect. I have crafted the most ingenious challenge for you and your silly little knights. I even made the decks you'll be using because I know you need the help. Why don't you try them out? Unless, of course, you're worried you'll fail. I want to see that new card I just pulled. You unlock the other decks as you proceed through the game? Yeah, I figured as well. Oh, it's another commander. Oh, cycle. This card is added to your hand every turn. Oh, same with... Uh Cycle plow ahead, cycle sunbathe. Sunbathe, move the unit, restore one HP. So Vera is very much looking like she's a healer more than a fighter. 
She moves. Less damage. Captain Thistle, big damage. Less move, less health. Yeah, I like I like Captain Thistle a lot. I think I would keep Captain Thistle in my deck. Ooh, ooh, ee, ee, ooh, ooh, eh. And it looks like there's one, two, three, four, five, six more areas, each I'm guessing containing four more missions. So that would be uh, 24 more missions, like the ones we've just done. And then one, two, lots of bonuses, lots of bonuses. So what's this challenge going to be like with our custom deck? To win this challenge, defeat all the enemies. That's it? That's all I get? I just get succulent kickers and the grow card. Oh, wait, no, this is my commander. I get it. So I have to play very defensively here. Oh man, I don't I don't like the look of this. The only one who needs to stay alive is my commander. Just hop and kick. Hop and kick, boys. Hop and kick. I didn't want you to go that way. Unlimited turns, this challenge was actually kind of easy, but it was the first of the of the challenges, so I guess that's fair. Beep boop beep boop boom! And I got 10 money! 
Alright, all right. nice way to nice way to buff up the the stockpile of cat. Oh, a lot of new cards in the shop. We got blight. Unit loses two max HP, gains poison attacks. That's kind of cool. Move unit if the unit is currently on a water tile. Move two extra tiles. All right, lots of interesting movement abilities. The regular movement cards, the attack cards, the blade card, the max HP card. Unit gains payback. Counter attacks enemies in range when damaged. Wow, pretty cool. All right, the time has run up on this game though, guys. The time has expired on Floppy Nights. Really fun game, really good time. I, uh, I got some good things to say about you, Floppy Nights. Visually, I love the art style here, man. I really love the art style of Floppy Nights. The animation is like, like, bounce. It's got like this bounciness to it. And like, just the, the, I don't know what it is. Like the dicey dungeons, this art style. I love it. I'm going to give it a strong five. Uh, and with the audio, it doesn't hit, the music doesn't hit quite as hard as dicey dungeons did. So I'm going to give it a four. Um, for gameplay so far, I'm going to give it a four because while I really enjoy these kinds of games, the first world left me, uh, left me desiring a bit more complexity, but it was the first world. I'm sure it's going to get harder and a little bit more challenging as you proceed. But, you know, I'm just calling it as it is at the beginning concept. I love it. I, I, I think it's cute. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, it's a deck builder mixed with the tactics game. We got a bunch of those out nowadays, but, uh, still really cool, strong concept. I'm giving it a five and a lemon though for waves and the lemon. I like this game a lot. I definitely, uh, would recommend it to anybody who's a fan of deck builders, who's a fan of tactic games, and especially to anybody who is a fan of both.